The last time I was on the Keg website to order some deoxit products, I was searching around and I ran across this precision cleaning kit. It's model KAS10 and it's a sample kit that off the cleaning kit includes a nylon cleaning brush, a large cleaning swab, a medium cleaning swab, and a small pointed precision cleaning swab. With this set of four, you can virtually get into any opening in your amplifier. I would do it would be to use some deoxid D5 and a pipe cleaner, which works pretty well. But today we're going to do something different. I'm going to use the nylon bristle brush, which it turns out if I put a little deoxid on it, fits nicely right into the RCA plug and you can brush it back and forth and the bristles fit well it's not overly tight and it should have a good cleaning action and to see what kind of result we get with that if we take the medium cleaning swab and I'll put a little more deoxid on it we'll do that again I think we'll find that when we take it out, uh, I expected it to be dirtier than that. It's actually not that bad. Maybe these jacks aren't horribly dirty. But the upshot of it is that the bristle brush does a really great job working itself through the jack without much of a problem. I think it's a worthwhile tool to have. We'll try the small swab again. Kind of fell apart there. Can't be that aggressive with it, I guess. Try another one. I think what happens is the way the jack is constructed on the back, I got caught on the tab where the wire is soldered on and that probably pulled it loose. These don't they aren't, don't appear to be that dirty because they're coming out pretty clean. That one's got a little bit of dirt on it so that's not too bad. You'll notice that the large swab is really too big to fit in the RCA jack but it's got another purpose that'll come in handy. So now we're looking at the front of the 33 and the large swab is sized perfectly for the headphone and dubbing jacks. These are quarter inch jacks and it fits in them really nicely. It has enough resistance where it should clean it well. It's nice the way the swab is attached to the plastic handle. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off at all. And you can tell, put a little more spray on it, Actually the jack is quite dirty. The end of the swab was pretty much white when it went in and after just a little bit of cleaning it's actually quite dirty. So these do a really good job. Uh, this seems to be some, it's not a cloth material, it seems to be some kind of foam material and I think that it's a good solution for cleaning jacks on preamps. It works, fits in really well, it feels really secure the end's not going to pull off and it seems to scrub it. That's the second one and you can see there's a lot of dirt there. So if you can see that better. It's quite dirty especially if you compare it with an unused one. You can see how much came out of the jack. Another good use for the small and precision swabs are inside the male end of RCA cables. The small swab is sized really nicely to get right around the outer shell to clean it. And because it's a foam pad and it's attached to the plastic handle, it doesn't seem to want to pull off and these cables are fairly new and actually they're fairly dirty. So 
even though this is something that you don't have to do very often it's something that you can do periodically to maintain your chords there it is if you compare it to a clean one again you can see how dirty it really is looking at is the last layer of the selector switch on the 33 and you can see right here this is the contact area and these are the contacts and as you rotate the knob you can see the contact surface move and make different connections these contact areas get dirty over time and if you, the, the small swab fits in there really well and I just put some deoxid D5 on the swab. I didn't spray the switch which I kind of like because when you spray the switch you tend to get it all over the inside of the unit and it makes a mess and you have to clean it up. This way it's more controlled which I think is better and again you can see it's actually quite dirty kind of out of focus there compared to the side that I did compared to the side that I didn't use. The precision cleaners are quite small and they actually work well for deeper inside the switch for contact areas that the bigger swabs would be hard to fit in or make it really hard to see what you were cleaning. So there's the KAG KAS10 precision cleaning kit. Along with the sample kit you get a group of lint-free cloths and another type of lint-free polypropylene textured cloths. These are both just for general cleaning purposes. I think the textured cloth might be good uh, for cleaning other areas on the preamp, but I think it's the cleaning swabs and brush that really come in handy. I like the nylon bristle brush and I like the large and small swabs. I think the precision swab is a little small and I don't think I'd buy very many of those, And but I definitely can see the large and small swab coming in handy and I think the bristle brushes are probably a good value because I don't think they'll wear out right away. They'll probably last a long time. So there's an inexpensive solution, much better than using pipe cleaners and rags from the garage to keep your units clean.